While I'm here, uh, I've been working on a, a pH meter probe uh, statistical analysis project where they're trying to come up with some sort of uh, reliability potentially of you know some different using different equipment. What we're testing is what temp does it actually turn from that cloudy color clear to a clear or transparent. You then get to communicate those results with the person in charge of production. So you actually feel like you are having a real input on the process. It's a good opportunity for teachers to spend time with us because I think in, in us being industry in general gives them an opportunity to say what skill sets do companies desire. I've definitely seen a few things that I'd like to implement this coming year ranging from just how the students are tested on their actual lab techniques to actually presenting them a uh, problem kind of like I was presented and then having them come to their own conclusion, their solution. I mean we're hitting all the math practice standards in here. We're hitting a ton of the 21st century standards. It's amazing how, you know, I mean we preach it to these kids and to be able to come out and see it and say yeah it really is there. And it also just pushes and helps you create a relationship with that business. When we bring in somebody from the outside that doesn't have the same experiences that we have, they help us think about things differently. So they can, they can always be a catalyst for us to think about new opportunities and implement new ideas. And now I've got you know, this ability to say, hey, Monsanto uses this stuff. You know, I was really excited to come to Monsanto because it will give me regional, real world experience. It's stuff that they're, they're, they know Monsanto. Some of their parents work here. Some of their aunts and uncles work here. We've got those kids that have no desire to go to college. You know, they're just looking, hey, I'm going to be the first one of my family to graduate high school, and we're so proud of them for that. But they really don't have an interest in furthering their education. And a place like this, you need a high school diploma to walk in the door. Here's opportunities that may be out there. Here's paths that you may have not thought about before, especially relevant in, in the four areas of STEM. It's that kind of thing, to be able to bring those kids and see the environment, see the guy that wears the suit and tie every day, and see the person that doesn't, and see that they both have a great steady income because I mean we all want to find that, that connection with students. What's going to help that student learn? Because you're going to teach the same material year after year until the standards change. But what's going to get that connection to make that one student decide that's what I want to do? And that wants to say, okay, I want to listen to my teacher today. I want to start applying this stuff. And this gives them that opportunity.